The vibration sensor is one of many equipment available in the Akara range from Xiaomi that works with the gateway of the same brand. This will allow you to detect the vibrations and movement of objects. Despite its simplicity, the sensor is universal and the method of use depends only on the user's imagination. Hello again dear YouTube family and welcome back to our channel. In today's episode we will tell you about the Akara vibration sensor and how it controls and makes any home device smart, so stay tuned. What is the Akara vibration sensor and how does it work? Well, the vibration sensor is one of the most flexible devices in the Akara smart home. It can be used to control other devices, to turn ordinary objects into a part of a smart home, and of course, to improve safety. The sensor itself can record three types of events, tilts, falls, and vibration. If a window is opened, the tilt mode is triggered. If a window is hit, it notices vibration, and if the glass is broken, the sensor reports a fall. In the application, you choose whether the sensor is triggered when one individual event occurs, several at the same time, or when all three events occur. The name vibration sensor is a bit misleading as it detects if the sensor moves, and this opens up many possibilities. Here are a couple of options. Number 10. Security System The main purpose of this vibration sensor is to complement the general home security system one of the main applications being to secure windows. Thieves and burglars most often enter the house through a window, so when your glass is broken, the siren can turn on and scare them away, thereby preventing them from getting inside. Also, it can turn on simply if the position of the window changes, which is very convenient if you leave the windows in a half-open position all the time. There's no need to connect to wires, stickers are included and very easy to set up in Akara apps for iOS and Android. In the Akara Home application, you choose whether the sensor is triggered when one event occurs, several at the same time, or when all three occur. For example, if you want to make all of your home windows smart, make sure that the Akara Hub is installed to enable the sensor to work with Windows. You open the app, simply tap Home, and then Plus to enter the Add Accessory page. You select the vibration sensor, and long press the sensor button for 5 seconds, and it connects seamlessly. Now your accessory is successfully added to the network. You can tear off the protective film and stick the sensor on the window, then whenever someone opens it, the sensor will sense a vibration, triggering your hub to sound an alarm and sending a notification to your phone. Number 9 we have Detect Broken Glass for your alarm. This is also another main function of the sensor that you can couple with just your alarm to detect glass breakage in the event of a break-in. Simply position it on the edge of a window or bay window. We recommend that you set it to low via sensitivity in my home because too much sensitivity can detect any vibration in wind or if you have shutters and unintentionally trigger your alarm all the time. In the zone management of the alarm plugin, it is only possible to choose binary commands as triggers. However, the motion control of the vibration sensor only takes the values to vibrate, tilt, or freefall. No command is therefore offered for this equipment in the alarm plugin. It is possible to create virtual info of binary type, having a value of 0 by default, and then 1 when a vibration is detected on the sensor, or an automatic return to 0 after 1 minute. At number 8, we have alert when knocking on the door in case of your absence. You can also, in this case, put a Xiaomi vibration sensor on your front door so that you'll be alerted if someone knocks on the door in your absence, or if the neighbor's child sends his balloon or ball to your front door by accident. This can be possible after you create a scenario, having to trigger a detection of vibration, and then use the if condition to send the alert only when you are absent. Remember, the sensitivity must also be adjusted in the My Home, according to your front door. Where some are heavier than others, the conditions might vary. To make the sensor work, you can just open the Akara Home app. Select vibration and add accessories. Stick the sensor on the door from the inside. Then if someone knocks on the door or opens the door, the sensor immediately detects it and sends a vibration and you receive a little notification. At number 7, use the sensor as a simple switch. You can tap your sensor so that it detects vibration and thus have it serve as a switch to turn on any device. You simply connect the sensor, stick it on the door, and then with the Akara app, you add the accessory to the network. Then when you open the door in the evening, the door and window sensor will send a signal to the wall switch to turn on the lights. No matter how late you get home, the lights can automatically turn on. 
To avoid as much as possible that the sensor engages without need to, you need to set the sensitivity to medium via My Home. Then place it in the desired location, on the wall nearby for example. After that, just create a scenario with the detection of vibration as a trigger. Finally, you can activate the equipment of your choice, such as a light or wall socket. Be very careful with the restriction of the equipment that doesn't allow two successive vibrations, so if you enter a room briefly, you may have to wait a few tens of seconds before being able to turn off your light again. After a certain time, you can operate with an automatic shutdown differently as well. Number 6. Alert when opening a drawer. You can position the Xiaomi vibration sensor under a drawer to detect its opening. Just make sure to adjust the sensitivity according to your needs, knowing that you could receive an alert by mistake dropping something heavy on the furniture, causing tremors. The same steps we had mentioned earlier in the app should be followed. However, you should stick the sensor on the drawer itself so if anyone opens it, the sensor can let you know. Number 5. We have a children's bedroom door. Usually, children never close their bedroom doors, they just leave them ajar. Gluing a vibration sensor to the bedroom door means that if they get up at night to use the toilet or otherwise, the door will slide and turn on the hallway and bathroom lights. The light can go out a few minutes later. At number 4, we have an alert when the fridge is opened. Which is perfect if you want to make the person who opens the fridge feel guilty outside of mealtimes. In addition, this method can allow you to precisely adjust the feet of your fridge to adjust its inclination. You can do that after you set up the sensor on the fridge door and then create a scenario with vibration as the trigger. It's better to be vibration, because if your fridge is not perfectly straight to the nearest degree, you can risk triggering a tilt when the door is opened. But a good way to avoid this is to, to adjust the feet of the fridge elsewhere. Last but not least, use the method of your choice to notify the person concerned. It can be a question of making the gateway speak, for example. At number 3, we have use on a safe or a personal box. Here, a door open or close sensor can be used. However, installing a vibration sensor means that you are less likely to break into a box or a safe, because even if someone tries to remove it, it will activate. If you attach it to a drawer or safe and get notified when the door opens. By connecting the sensor, you can see the so-called vibration curve, in which you can notice the change of vibration on the graph. Accordingly, the peak values are the moments of vibration detection. These devices can be added to any Xiaomi or Akara smart home platform. They work over the Zigbee protocol, and a gateway is needed for them to work. If you want to connect it to the Apple Home Kit, then you do need to use an Akara Hub gateway. At number 2, we have Illuminate the Staircase during Passage. The ideal way to detect a presence on the stairs to turn on a light remains a presence sensor like the Fibero FGMS001ZW5 for example so you can detect a presence before setting foot on the first step, essential when it comes down at night. On the other hand, to go up, depending on the configuration of your rooms, you can place a presence sensor, or you could use the vibration sensor on the first step to turn on a light. For the detection to be as reliable as possible, configure the sensitivity to high and position the sensor vertically in the center of the step as high as possible. This solution is not perfect, however, and if you walk gently on the extremities, the sensor may not detect your vibrations. Also, please note that a minimum delay of about 60 seconds is necessary between two vibration detections. Therefore, we recommend turning on the light for more than 60 seconds to prevent a second person following you from ending up in the dark when they reach the third step. If you are the type to climb 2x2, two two, consider maybe buying a second sensor. At number 1, we have the simplest use. Don't let people use your stuff. If you have something that people tend to use without your knowledge, then a vibration sensor is absolutely perfect. As soon as the item is collected, you'll receive a notification. It can be a bicycle or an electric scooter or even a car. So which option of the Akara do you like the most? Let us know please down below in the comment section so that we can get a better idea of how we can use them in the future. I really hope you enjoy the discovery of this vibration sensor. If you do want to see more upcoming automation videos, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for the support, and I really hope to see you again.